I will never forget the father who carried his dead child's limbs in a bag. I will never forget the man who lost his everything and still said, praise be to Allah. I will never forget that old uncle tearing up while looking at the rubble which used to be his home, saying, I spent 40 years building it. I will never forget the mother who refused to wash her hands covered in her son's blood because it's the only thing left from her baby. I will never forget the ice cream truck full of dead bodies of children. I will never forget the mother who cried, my children died without eating, they were hungry. I will never forget the girl who said that she recognized her dead mother under the rubble from her hair. I will never forget the little boy crying, I did nothing wrong. I will never forget the doctor singing a song which says, we will stay no matter what, even after their hospital was bombed. I will never forget how Palestinians had to hold a press conference while being surrounded with dead bodies of children all around because of the Israeli disinformation campaign. I will never forget the beautiful curly-haired Yusuf shaking all over with fear. I will never forget the little girl holding her baby brother screaming at the top of her lungs in the midst of rubbles. I will never forget the hero journalist Mutaza Ziza who saved two girls from the rubble after the bombardment. I will never forget how Al Jazeera correspondent lost his wife and children, buried them and got back to work immediately saying this is his responsibility. I will never forget each and every one of the Palestinian journalists showing us a genocide in the making, although 35 of their colleagues were killed. I will never forget how the U.S. vetoed even a pause of bombardment and sent billions of dollars to aid and abet a genocide. I will never forget how Britain, Germany, France and Canada walked all over human rights and defended a genocide. I will never forget how the UAE celebrated Halloween and the Saudis danced at the music festival when their brethren were massacred. I will never forget how we failed them. I will never forget Israeli genocide of Palestinians. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. We will never forget, but we have to forgive. If not, this hate will perpetuate forever.